Christians must aim there, on true love, knowing that everything has value when it is inspired and conducted by charity, and all the rest counts for nothing, at least for the final account of their lives. This is how Christians must commit their lives, so that at the end of each of their actions they can say, This is a work that will remain. This is what they must make of their daily work, of writing letters, of taking care of personal affairs, of educating their children, of engaging in conversation, of taking trips, of choosing clothing, of eating, even of sleeping, down to the smallest of their actions, when meeting all the unforeseeable things that God will ask of them day by day. And this is possible for everyone. For God, every action in itself is indifferent. Love is what counts. Love gets the world moving. Even if someone has a mission to fulfill, it will be fruitful to the extent that it is infused with love. We have to remember, though, that there is love and love. And certainly, more powerful is the love distilled from a scrap of life that is consumed like Christ on the cross than is the love that offers the joy and serenity life can give. Therefore, so that we Christians do not find ourselves behind the times, we have to try to put love beneath everything we do, being careful that it not be lacking where life proves most difficult and harsh.